Well, remarkable Sunday night here. One in it now with four more to play. I mean, the pressure and the tension out there is something. I can tell you in the, uh, the players' room where the families are, that there's uh, John's dad. Underneath a picture of his son, will they say champion tonight? His brother can't stand it. He's gone out. The menu's there. Will it be champagne or cold haggis? You never know. Uh, they're interloping down there. The Hendry fans, the Higgins fans just sitting there. Uh, it must be far worse than there, I can tell you. But Stephen Hendry on eight. John Higgins on seven. Four more to play. Well, a possible four more to play. And John Higgins, well, we're all saying, I'm afraid it's all over. He was making mistakes and uh, always there looking worried as he always does. The man in his first UK final against the man who's won it four times and looking for a five. Number one against number two. And number two hoping to become number one. What a night. One frame of Hendry's lead remains. Very interesting to see how Stephen plays this frame. He took on a few long pots in the previous one. Will he still continue in that vein or will he just uh, tighten up a little bit? possible long red. It does look a long way away on that camera angle. But black not available. Pink hemmed in also. Well that's a possible safety shot uh, if Stephen decides not to take the pot on. But Looks as if he's still going to carry on going for them. One. Great shot. And unlucky not to develop the black to a better position. in this final. And 
while they're watching the table, John Higgins is having a long, hard look to see if he can pass the blue to take the red on. It certainly was portable. his intended position for blue when the adrenaline starts to run you do tend to overhit a little especially on a cloth as fast as this one under pressure Stephen Hendry is so smooth with his cue action he's been working again this week with uh, the local top coach Frank Callan probably the best known coach in the game of snooker he's coached all the former world champions and of course, most notably Dennis Doug Mountjoy coached him to beat uh, Stephen Hendry in the 1988 final here at Preston. Eighteen. Not as intended. And although Hendry's touch has gone a little under extreme pressure, his popping hasn't. Well, I think he overran his intended position there, although he's all right. Twenty-five. Wrong on the blue again. As you can see, a lot of the reds covering each other, but uh, we still got one available. Overdone it. Yes, he wanted to be much straighter on that red. He overran almost every positional shot in that break. The 
boos and ass from the crowd there. And it's worked out fine for John Higgins. No point in playing for the black. As you can see, the black spot is surrounded with the red, so. Now, if he screws back, he'll be going towards the pink with the cue ball. And that is careless from John. That was a straightforward pot. That wasn't pressure. That was lack of concentration on his part there. One easy ball he's missed, not only in this frame, but in the last two. But when the pressure really comes on, even the top players do things they don't usually do. What a big shot this is for John Higgins. He can take the red on, he can avoid the black. If he makes contact with one of the two reds, could finish on the black. Not on the black. Pink won't go. This is cuttable. It can't be easily predicted where the cue ball is going to finish, though. shot had to really hit that green very hard to get back up the table but maybe not quite as hard as he did but he's been very fortunate that green's come off the uh, cushion blocked the way for a possible pot into that corner pocket these two reds well I'm not sure if Stephen can make them into a plant he's going to be playing to get the cue ball down behind yellow and brown I hesitate to criticise a six times world champion's choice of shot, but that looked very dangerous, very odds against.
Sky. A bit short of pace with the cue ball, but uh, no problem. Although we didn't really want to be playing this with the extension. It's just that red that's close to the top cushion that might just prove to be a slight problem for John. 17. Into the lead with that black. 20. In the frame that he needs to complete his journey from 8 4 down to 8 all. 25. He gets the green back on its spot to make his clearance of the early colours easier. Yes, and having the cue ball cleaned. Uh, not because he had a kick, but just to make sure that he doesn't get one on this red, because he's just going to drop it in dead wet to finish nicely on the blank. Yes, Clyde, what a performance okay. to win four frames in a row. And it was all started by that re-spotted blank. Incredible stuff. Only the green needed. His winning contribution from Higgins. Set up by Hendry's failure to complete a risky plant. 54. John Higgins for going out for a take a breath after that Kenji John. I mean, this is uh, one of the great ones. Absolutely. I don't think he'd have gone out for a break. I think he's quite happy now in the atmosphere. Mm. I, he didn't look comfortable early on to mm. me, but Stephen was the one that went out. And as soon as he saw Stephen was going out, he thought, I'm not going to sit here and stew for a couple of minutes. Mm. I'll be with you. Yeah. But to take four in a row, as um, Clive was saying, and um, Dennis was saying, from that re spotted black, this is a, a, one of the great performances now. Well, 8 4 down, needed a snooker, played a pot on the red, and was lucky enough to get half a snooker on Stephen. Mm. Finished up winning the frame. All of a sudden, you, you know, we, we commentate and we look at Stephen Hendry, the way he performs and the breaks he gets, mm. and we think everything's just going to happen as we see it. Mm. But it's a strange thing, ball games. And all of a sudden now, I, th I think John Higgins is in the ascendancy. Really? Oh, yes. I think 
Stephen's lost his balance. Dennis Taylor said it a few times. Stephen, every time he comes to the table, he's prepared to take on a long, risky shot, risky plant at the end of that frame. Mm. And I think he's just lost his balance. He, he really wants to attack all the time. And that's a very risky game to play. Particularly now, as I say, I think John Higgins has got the slight edge. You were saying just now, if there is a weakness in Hendry's play, and he is the best of all time, I think we'll all agree with that now. He just does go for a two, maybe just a couple too often. Well, he's such a tremendous potter, and I, and I, and I can understand it. You know, that if he's in trouble, he thinks I'll pop my way out of it. But as I say, that has got him into mm. eight all yeah. now, and uh, yeah. it's going to be a risky yeah. game to play. This is a shot that we were talking about. Well, I think the thing is here, he's tried to get mm. on the blue a few times, and he's overhit it, and he just played a soft screw there to try and control the cue ball mm. and missed the pot. Mm. And you can't afford to miss these chances. John Higgins has missed a few. Mm. He's been lucky enough to get away with it. Uh, but Stephen now is probably back in the dressing room thinking, what am I going to do here? Mm. He was playing well, 8-4, looked to be coasting home. 8-all, mm. best of three now. It is indeed. <coughs> Forget all that's happened. We won't. But 8-all in Thank this 20th time.